This episode is rated M for drug use. Heavy, 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 heavy drug use. I mean, we will be straight tripping by the end. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? Looking out over the Kirat Mountains, turning around and seeing where my mother used to do her laundry in the yard. I would say that her clothes are still here, but I think that that's, uh, that's probably unlikely. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Far Cry 4. On the last episode, we got thrust into the arena, and uh, Far Cry 4 is definitely a huge open-world series, which means huge open-world things doing stuff between episodes. What did I do this time? Actually, not much. Not a whole lot. I liberated an outpost. There's an outpost here that I liberated just because... Um, Outpost, if you liberate an outpost, it also creates a fast travel point. And I wanted to come here to start the episode, and I was like, alright, I'll just fast travel. And I realized there's nothing. There was just nothing to fast travel to, and I was like, ooh, that's a problem. We need more fast travel points. So, probably between episodes, I'll be doing a lot more outposts because they help us jump around a little bit better. I may do them on screen occasionally, but I'll probably do a majority of them. Uh, off screen. The only other thing that happened was um, I upgraded my quiver because I had to kill some more leopards and I stumbled across them and killed them and uh, I'm good to go. I do have five skill points available because I've been killing some people and I keep getting experience for it. Um, not really anything on this side that I really want. I think it, being able to buy explosive arrows, spirals, and, and stuff like that would be nice. We could probably go ahead and grab that. And then yes, okay, I will get something over here. How about death from above? Jump or fall onto an enemy below you for a deadly takedown. Seems good. Alright. Spent my points. Feeling good about myself. Uh, now, last time we came here, this is my um, this is my childhood... Well, no, I can't say my childhood home. This is my the, the home of my father. It's the home of my father and mother. Last time we came here, things did not work out so well for me because I got drugged and wound up in the arena. But, these fine folks do give me uh, missions, so I need to come back and uh, talk to them. Also, what's this say? Let your mind be opened by potentiality. Are you at a crossroads of self-actualization and desire? Are you seeking guidance through this transformative multiverse? Are you yearning for an ennobling of pseudo-divine consciousness? Well, welcome to Guru Ashram, where the great prophet Yogi will guide you to a blossoming osmosis of myth mythic intuition. These are fine folks, so we gotta go in here and we need to talk to our good buddies alive, Yogi and Reggie. Bags. Hang on, my friend! I know you're angry with Donald, but what he did, but we're in body! He made trouble! And it's Yogi, you cunt! I still wanna shoot you both. Uh, listen, I don't blame you for wanting to put a hole in Reggie here. Fuck, 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 we're trapped in this bloody country, like you, or I think Nick don't passport, and they're getting us to fuck other folks, like you! And we can't go back to India after that incident with the cow. Cows are. Right, cows, uh, oh, so many cows. Yeah, there's 10 million <laughs> hits on YouTube so far. Really? Yeah, it was... Okay, look, 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 look. We, 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 we thought no one wanted to parlay. We didn't think she was going to throw you in the arena naked. Yes, we did. That's why you bet against him. I only technically bet against him. I, I was trying to cover the spread, my old China. He means mate. I, however, had no doubt. I bet on you, mate. Check it out. Which I'm more than willing to split with you, uh, 60-40. 40-60. <laughs> yeah, right, just take the whole lot. You deserve it. Fighting with your tackle flip-flopping about. Yeah. Oh, we're very impressed. With his tackle? With his fighting, you tit. He's very <laughs> glad you I would say more 300. I want you two gone. I want you out of my house. I'm taking it back. And if you ever... F we'll shoot Donald together. It's Yogi. Smoke? Leave. Right. Just just give us a second to pack. Yeah. We're nesters. It's a bit of a mess. <sighs> hmm. But first... <sighs> hmm. Oh. So what used to be here? One of those thankers? Yes. Clever clocks. What happened to it? Now that is a story worth telling. Yeah, drugs, intrigue, danger, it's all there. I just want the short version. 
Find the short version. We were new arrivals in Kairat. Fresh off the boat, so to speak. Yes, and we were eager to sample the local horticulture scene. Very eager. We were not disappointed. No, not in the slightest. And it was all thanks to an, uh, a kindly old guru who helped open our minces. Right. That day, we reached a level of herbal nirvana unlike any other. When it was all said and done, we asked the guru who his supplier was. That's when we heard of Shangri-La. Shangri-La. <laughs> it's like a... The ghost of ancient Kyra. Ancient Kyra. And yeah, it's, it's more like the ghost that never was. So it's like Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Schrodinger's Kyra. <laughs> Guys, the short version, right? Right, back on track. Um, so the guru told us that he had journeyed to a story place, and when he was there, he nipped a few butts. <sighs> This was all made possible through a mystical tanka that hung on this very wall. So what happened to it? Uh, it was torn to pieces and scattered throughout Kairat by persons unknown. Yeah, right, but not to worry. The old geezer sold us a map that ah. led to a cave not far from right, here. Right, a cave with a scary door. Right, really scary. As much as we wanted to chase that dragon, the door had a certain uh, do not enter sort of quality to it. So where's the map? I think we used it as a rolling paper, but no worries, the, the cave is easy to find. You just head west from it. Yeah, right. And when you find a door with a really scary face on it, you know you're in the right place. Oh, yeah, and bring us back a few buds, yeah? You seem like great guys. Um, hmm. 1,100 meters. Wallet almost full. That is not a problem I thought it would have. Now, I, I did also between episodes, um, I had fought off an outpost and I used one of my, uh, whatever things. Give new order, wait. I don't want them to wait. They, it, you can basically call a mercenary to come help you. So now he's here and he's following me around. Uh, but it's not actually doing me a whole lot of good. I think I'm gonna hang glide. I don't know if this is gonna work out so well for me, but, uh, yeah, sure. Because this is the direct, this is the general direction I gotta go. Yeah, I'm actually covering a pretty good amount of ground. Hopefully I'll hit the mark. 150 meters in closing. Coming in kind of hot. Just... Oh, God. Should I bail? I didn't have a parachute. Okay, so this time I'm not going to, uh, to bail. Because it will kill me. Let's... Try and bring it down somewhat safely. Oh, I'm good. Ow! I didn't need it anyway. Wow. That, uh... It came down hard and it broke that tree. I think. Well, it's bending. I don't know. <laughs> Some, something's not okay with that tree. Alright, so... We need to be careful because there are enemies up here. Which we found out whenever I dropped on them. I wonder if I could have got a death from above thing with that. I probably could have if I would have timed it right. I don't think it particularly matters if I'm a million miles away or not. That's a hunter. So I gotta be careful. The hunters are the scary ones. Continue your journey in Jungle Live by finding the nearby Thanka. Uh, look around for a path leading to a temple entrance. Okay. There's another guy in there. I can see him in there. Can I hit him from here? Maybe? I'll try. Got him. Uh, what the balls? These are all hunters. And those are, those are not good. Those are the, not the guys I would like to really run into. Do they have anything good on them? Tiny booze. Okay. Also, my wallet's almost full, so I'm not really looking forward to trying to search you. Do you have anything good? An opium pipe. Okay. And a little bit of ammo. I'm out of here. I'm not checking your bodies. I don't have enough money. Or I don't have enough space for all this money in the first place. Okay. I took out three guys. Also getting dark. Yeah, this is, this is good. This place is, um... It's gonna be fine be great. In fact, I love it. I love the decor. It's it's beautiful. OK, 
Okay, I'm um, feeling a, uh, get a little, like, Nathan Drake vibe going on. Money wheel. Let's do that. We got some free crap. Just go ahead and, uh, open these things up. Seem a little empty. Grapple. Okay, um, I think I have to lower myself down, actually. Um, okay, let's just slowly lower our cell. Oh, my God. Looks okay. Looks good. Can grapple over there. Let's do that. Okay. Can grapple all the way around this place if I need to, so I shouldn't be scared if I'm in trouble to do such a thing. Grapple. There we go. Okay. Getting up close and personal with you, my friend. Okay. Uh where I can Okay, up there, I think is the the door. So I just gotta Man, this has really become like a 3D platformer right now, hasn't it? Let's get some speed. Ooh! That was close. Okay. Um, I need to get up there. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the back of the door. I think. Maybe. Yes. Okay, so this is this is where I was trying to get to. Just gotta walk along this really frightening path. And then I can make it over here. There can't be any enemies in here because they couldn't find their way. So I did it. Creepy, man. Really creepy. Okay, um, one of the journals is here. It's good. So I can learn more about my dad. Gives you a karma bonus. Is there no one else... Here? Interact. Alright, well that's why I came, so... What's it do? Apparently had a vision. Wait, what the heck? Suddenly I'm <laughs> on a mountain? Or did I just, like, walk out the other side? Of something? <laughs> I'm having a flashback. All I had to do was jump. Might as well jump, jump! Dear God, okay? Okay. लेकिन मुझे थोड़े अलग ही काम के लिए चुना गया। मुझे भेजा था धरती के स्वर्ग शैंग्रीला को ढूंढने के लिए। आपका टांग का असंभव को कैसे दिखा सकता है? इस स्वर्ग का गवाह बनने का सिर्फ एक ही रास्ता है, इसमें रहना। Don't drown, don't drown. Woo! Shangri, I did it. It's kind of freaky. This is weird. Now that my road is long and cutting, I have seen a lot of things. I have done it, but I want to be with someone else. But I was a man who thought that the world is filled with pain. Hmm. Is there anything else in this room? This is weird, man. I get a few different vibes. Get some Skyrim DLC vibes from coming into like that that one world that was just all of the books piled on top of each other. But then also some extreme late game Mother 3 vibes too. And I don't have any weapons or anything. Great white stag. It just ran away from me. I don't have any anything to fight with. As I walk by, by stuff, it, like, illuminates? I'm not, not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing, so I guess I'll run ahead. That's sad. Hey, buddy. Poor thing.
Ouch. I think I've seen some better days. Okay, so now I can attack. That actually worries me a little bit. This is this is a little trippy. Huh. These are on fire. And there are rivers of blood. Dear God. Okay. Let's keep moving forward. Let's see what we can see. I can hear something. I'm not sure what. The heck is that thing? Oh snap. Where'd he go? Okay, keep moving. No more decapitated deer, please. You looked at me. I'm not crazy. Okay, I thought everything was nice and peaceful and wonderful, and it's, uh, seem to be like that now. Anything behind me? No, I think we're good. I hit a checkpoint. Oh, dear God. Hey, buddy, what's up? Yeah, that guy's on my team. I saved his brother. Sheer moth ke moose se lot aya. Meri zindagi bachane ke liye nahi, balke ek sahiyogi paane ke liye. The tiger. Uh, aim at an enemy and press R1 to target him. The tiger will attack. The tiger can sense enemies and become invisible to them. Okay, so that guy? Or no, you're you're my you're my friend. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Invisicat. Got some guys to kill. That one. Dang. Okay. Just gotta keep our eyes peeled. Because that's not gonna be the only one. Alright, things have changed a little bit. But this is cool. I like when they do uh, very unique, interesting things with this. That guy. Get him! Good boy. The one next to him. Don't fight me. Okay. I feel like there was another one. There's one over there on the hill. That one. Go! I don't want them to find me. I don't know what that could mean for me. It's easier just to make my tiger go do things. Come on, buddy. Nice. Okay. Could be some guys over here too. We gotta be careful while we go walking through here. Let's see, he's coming back though. I have an invisible tiger. Um, <laughs> this isn't actually happening. Like, th there's no because <laughs> I have a freaking invisible tiger. This is just some kind of like weird. Oh God! Get him! Get him quick before he eats me. This is like some sort of weird dream flashback thing where I dreamt that I was the guy or something. I mean, it's certainly interesting. It's just a, a tad, a tad bit confusing. I'm just glad that the, uh, oh shoot. Oh, save me, save me, kill him. Save me, save me, tiger. Thank you, tiger. This is, it's just really trippy and Hasn't really been explained, like, exactly what's going on. I can hear more of those demon guys. I know he's... Yeah, that guy. You did it. Kill him. More across the bridge. I, we're making our way to a point. I don't know exactly where we're going. We have two points, actually. Just still looking for enemies. 
मैं प्रार्थना के पहियों के साथ बड़ा हुआ हूँ लेकिन इनको देखकर ऐसा लगा कि ये देवताओं के लिए बनाए गए आक्रमण वो इतने बड़े थे Okay, kill that one. Go over there and kill that one. And uh, if 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 you haven't gone on a break yet, if you could get that one at the top of the hill there. Although there's one. Oh shoot! Oh Jesus! Ah, they hit me. Tiger, 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 buddy, tiger, buddy. Hey, tiger, buddy, tiger, tiger. Hey, hey. Woo! That was close. I actually lost some health. Is there a way? I can pop my finger to get my health back, though. Thank God. My finger got jammed, and that was definitely the only problem there. Oh, Jesus! No, 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 no! Pop that finger! Pop that wrist! Woo! Don't really have. Ow! I don't really have a way to defend myself. Oh, I can, I can take him down. <laughs> Gracious! That's, uh, that's pretty extreme. Well, let's work on these guys together, then, shall we? Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is way better. What up, son? Oh! Yeah, I got, I got my, I got him there for, um, you know, for me, as a backup. But he's not, he's not required. That makes me feel good. All right. Should we spin this thing? How do we spin it? I gotta touch the handle. There we go. I did it. And now. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm on the crazy drug trip. This all makes sense now. बचाने का प्रयास कर रहा था और अपनी रक्षा के लिए मेरा मार्गदर्शन कर रहा था uh okay whatever you say or think or whatever i'm not really in any danger of dying um as long as i stay frosty we got to go down here and i guess there's going to be another wheel yeah so we got to go down there and uh race some hell can you kill all of those things no in fact if you click it and there's nothing there Makes like a wind chime sound, which is interesting. Uh, there's gotta be a lot of enemies over here. There's a ton. Come on, go get them. Go get them, buddy. Nice. Got some over there. There's a lot of them. But some of them are mine. Come on, buddy. Where you at? Where you at? Oh! Dang! Gotcha! I'm gonna stab the, the blue juice out of you. Apparently, something I'm incredibly good at. Chain. Oh, I was, I was trying to chain take down. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. I guess they can kill you easily. There we go. Holy crap. Clearing this one, this side of it, was very, very difficult. In fact, I just died like five times, and I eventually learned that I should let the tiger handle things, and I should hide. But um, if I mean I can I can offer some assistance, but when there's a ton of enemies, like it's really stupid to even attempt. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> back up this mountain. If the tiger dies, he does come back. He has a cooldown timer before he he does come back, so you know, we have to do our best to try and not let him die if we can, but you know, we do what we can. Okay. I'm expecting some final battle up here. Reach the Bell of Enlightenment. Tiger Light the Scorcher. To target a scorcher enemy, the target will describe it, and then take down from behind while he is distracted. Okay. Here goes something. Okay, I'm gonna hide. I would rather the tiger take down most of the guys himself without my help. Take the scorcher down last. If we can help it. Because uh, it is incredibly difficult otherwise. I might be able to do a little sneaky sneaky. Well, I'm not expecting a ton. I need him to I need him to not be worrying about that. And worrying about the other guys. Oh, but he's dead. 
He's dead. It's it's cool. Just don't let these guys find you. Whew, you guys can see in the bottom left corner above my health the uh the tiger cooldown. It's ridiculously hard. Like if they find you, they pretty much kill you. They are really, really powerful. Unfortunately, if if, if there's one you can take them, but if there's a few that it becomes nearly impossible. Pretty much waiting for the tiger to come back so I can do this. We got the target the scorcher last. He's looking at me, but the tiger's gonna find him. Got him. Okay, don't see anything. Making my way over here. Is that the last one? Gotcha! Yeah! There we go. Did we get them all? We got the Scorcher. There's still more of these guys left, aren't there? I don't see... There's one over there somewhere. Where is he? I'm not crazy. Right there. Right there. Get him. Get him, buddy. Come on, you got full health. Come on, get up. You got him? Good. Okay, is there one over here? One over here. Just gonna keep targeting. You're gonna be okay. This area has got a lot of crap. Got him. Alright. We gotta be careful up here. We're doing good. That one! Woo! <laughs> okay, you go do that. You can double check this area. It doesn't look like there's anyone left over here. I think we got them all. Which would be very, very good. I think I, I feel safe to move up. Oh, shoot. Uh, tiger. Take down! Yes! Okay. Yeah, that I can handle. Are we good? We did it? Alright, buddy, let's go. We gotta get to the top of this thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's release this thing. And this is trippy. Oh god. Are we are we fighting? No, we don't have to. Because the bell has saved us. The magical sa Shangri-La bell. Man, what a trippy mission, man. That's that is uh <laughs> something a little different. But at the same time, very cool. What happened? He's back in the world of the living. Uh, How'd I get here? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, he, he walked in holding a bank up. Right. And then you put it up in a frame here and then curled up on the floor for a kit. Yeah. You want to try it? You're speaking a weird language. What happened? I don't know, but it was fucking weird. Mm. Was that here when you moved in? Oh, this? I was told that it's a Gale family heirloom, been passed down for generations. <sighs> Did I not mention that earlier? No, you didn't. Oh. Did ask for the show version. Right, and we asked you to grab some of that wacky back here, eh? Uh. Did you find any? I was a little busy. Right, but yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next time. But you do come across that fanker. Keep us in mind. Right. Well, we're off. We'll send someone back here to clean up the rest of our shit. All right? All right. <laughs> Toodles. Toodles. Huh. Interesting. And also, I, I have a place to stay now. Which is... Pretty nice, and there's a there's a new quest available. That's nice, and apparently these are all going to be, I guess, Shangri-La quests, which means I'm going to be getting high as a kite. What looks to be maybe five more times. Huh? You can also purchase items to upgrade it from your caretaker. 
that person like right outside? Is there someone? Hey, buddy. What? What's up? <laughs> do you want to buy a water faucet? I mean, I do have a lot of money. Interior upgrade? A buzzer? Your very own buzzer, which will always be available just outside the homestead. Do you mean the gyrocopter? That seems helpful. What, do we, what does this shrine do? Small and tastefully built personal shrine. Small amounts of money can be found here. Now I'm good. Buzzer. So that means I will have a helicopter. In a second. There we go. So it will always be found here. Honestly, that's not a bad deal because I had to get rid of some money anyway because my wallet was getting full. So now I have a guaranteed thing here. Anytime I need one of these, I can just fast travel to this location and I'm set. Very cool. Anyway, uh, that is actually it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Shangri-La is interesting, to say the, uh, the very least, but it looks like we'll also be going back in the near future. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We'll break it up a little bit. We won't be doing all the Yogi missions immediately. There's still a lot left to do in the world of Karat. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Far Cry 4. Our friend, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, comes from afar seeking, seeking answers. We can give him those answers. For a nominal fee. Right? Nothing in life is free. Yeah. As soldiers, we protect our people through our willingness to kill. And what do we need to fulfill our purpose? Faith. Guns, AJ! Guns! Without them, how else will we pass through the sea of trouble and calm the surging tides? Help me, AJ, and the golden path will receive their guns.